Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ, and today I'm going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial of the Robinhood app. Now, Robinhood is one of the most popular investing apps, especially among younger investors. The Robinhood app is the most talked about investing app, and even tends to make the news for good and for bad reasons over the past couple of years. However, due to its popularity, it tends to be the first investing app many new investors choose to use. It's a fairly simple app to use, and over the past couple of years, it has added many features to make it even more attractive, even for people who have been investing for a long time. So today I'm going to do a walkthrough of the Robinhood app to help you navigate it. Now, when you first open the app, enter your password, it takes you to the homepage, and this is where you can see the current balance of your account, as well as your performance over the past day, the past week, the past month, and so on and so forth. You can also quickly view the available cash in your account. So right below that chart, you see the buying power, which is currently $58.42. And that is also the buying power if you're looking to buy, whether it's stock, cryptocurrency, or to trade options on a platform. So we'll, I'll refer to this as a home screen as we continue throughout this video. And what you're gonna do to, to get back to the home screen, no matter where you are within the app, is click at the bottom left, the little chart symbol, and you can always get back to that page, just like that. Now, also on this screen, you can see if you have any pending invites for people you have invited to use Robinhood. When you join Robinhood using my referral link, you will receive a free share of stock valued up to $500. Also, the total that you can get in free stock for the year is $500. So if you're lucky enough to receive a $500 stock for free, you're maxed out for the year. But if you don't, and you don't max it out when you receive your first free stock, then you can always invite more people to Robinhood and you will receive free stock as well for everyone that you invite. Now, my referral link will be provided as a top comment below as well as in the description. There's no minimum deposit required in order to receive the free stock, but you do need to link your bank account in order to receive the free share of stock. So as you scroll down, you can now see any open options trades that you have. So these are trades that I've made within the past week. You can also see any stocks that you own within Robinhood. And if I own any cryptocurrencies, those would be listed here as well. Now below this section, you'll see a group of lists. These are lists that you can create to categorize or that way you can save them in order to research any stocks that you're looking to research. And this is my first list. This was the list that was originally created, I think before they even had the option to create separate lists. So there was just one long list and if you click the drop down arrow to the right, you can see the different companies that I have in the list. And then if you go to cryptos to watch, you can see cryptocurrencies that I'm following. This is a new list that I created called the SPAC attack. And then also this is another list that includes ETFs from ARK Invest. And so you can create a new list just by clicking that plus sign and then you can add any stocks that you would like to add and name it whatever you want. All right, below the list section is the following section. Now, these could be lists that are already created by Robinhood. And so I am following the 100 most popular stock list, which shows you 100 most in-demand stocks for Robinhood users. So these are the stocks that are most commonly held by Robinhood customers. So you can see that most people on Robinhood are investing in Apple, Kronos Group, the S&P 500 ETF, GameStop, which has really been in the news a lot lately, Tesla, Neo, Ford, General, General Electric, Microsoft, Amazon, and many, many more. This gives you the top 100 list. So I'm going to scroll back to the top and click the left arrow to go back to the previous page. All right, so that is it for the home page as far as the information provided here. So we're gonna move on to the second tab at the bottom of the screen, which is the cash tab. Now the cash tab, this is your cash management account. So it's essentially a checking account or you can think of it as a savings account or as a combination of a checking and savings account. Because the actual cash held in this account, you actually do receive interest on the cash held in your account if you choose to hold any within Robinhood. Now the current interest rate that you receive from Robinhood for any cash held in your account, it's 0.30%. This is actually better than many of the big traditional banks who might only give you 0.01 or 0.03 or maybe 0.1% interest at best. 
So while 0.30% also is not that great, it is still significantly better than what a traditional bank, like maybe a Bank of America or a Chase or a Wells Fargo would provide to you with their basic savings accounts. And so if you would like to consolidate and have your investing account and your checking slash savings account in the same app, that is an option for you with the Robinhood app. Now, for some people, this could be dangerous, especially if you decide to put like direct deposit your checks into Robinhood. And then that means that any bills that you pay, any groceries that you spend, you know, you can have the Robinhood debit card that you see right here. You can actually use that to pay for everyday expenses. And then whenever you actually want it to invest money, you could just invest it and you wouldn't have to actually make a deposit to wait on those funds. And so that totally depends on you and how comfortable you are with having your everyday cash mixed in with this account, which it will be your investment account as well. And so below you can see recent history of transactions that were made. Uh, if you continue to scroll down, you'll see what the current interest rate is. And so if there was an update to the interest rate, which I don't expect to happen at least until 2023, and that's based on the Fed stating that they have no plans to increase the interest rates at this time. But below this, you can also see when the last time you were paid interest and how much interest you have made over the lifetime that you've had the app and you've had cash holding in your account. Now, this is an account that I use on a regular basis. It is also not my main checking or savings account. So I have other accounts specifically for that that actually provide a higher interest rate. All right, and next below this, you can look at which available ATMs you can actually use that will not charge you a fee if you wanted to take cash out of your Robinhood account at an ATM. Uh, if you enable the location, it will show you where the nearest ATM is that you can use that will not charge you a fee. And next below this, you can see your account number and the routing number for Robinhood. Of course, I have this blurred out, so you don't need that information. But if you wanted to sh show the information, you can hit the button for show ACH account number if you needed to set up your account for a direct deposit or anything of that nature. And you can also lock your debit card. You can lock withdrawals so that if your card happened to be stolen or if you lost it, you can lock it directly from your Robinhood app. And then that way, if someone attempted to use your debit card, they wouldn't be able to take any money out because you have it locked through the app. And I would, I would assume you would receive some type of notification to let you know that someone attempted to take money out of your account. All right, and so that is it for the cash tab. We're gonna skip over the magnifying glass, which is the browse tab, and we're gonna go over to the messages tab. So we're gonna click the little chat symbol at the bottom right. And on this page, this shows you any messages. Most of these messages will be trades, like if you just recently bought a stock or if you sold a stock, or if you had an order that you placed that did not go through. Let's say you made an order that you wanted to cancel at the end of the day if it didn't process you would get those messages here as well. But in addition to that, you'll also get messages or announcements coming directly from Robinhood. And as you can see here, now these will be important messages about your account. It could be like if you had a fraud incident, like I mentioned with the debit card, if someone tried to use it, you may get a message here. If they have any new features that they wanna talk about, like when they brought out the fractional share option where you could invest as little as $1 into any stock, you would have been able to see that message here. And then also another feature that they recently added was the dividend reinvestment or the drip. This allows you to select any stocks that you own within Robinhood that pay dividends to actually reinvest the dividends that are paid to you automatically back into the stock instead of holding it as cash in your account. And so that was a great feature that many people were waiting on, including myself. And so you do have that message that comes in the announcements. And so anything else that would come, you would get those messages right here in the messages section. All right, so we're gonna go back and now we're gonna to go to the last tab on the right, which is the profile tab. And within the profile, you can look at the total value of your account. Directly below the total value, you see that there are a couple of different tabs. There's information on Robinhood Gold. So let's click on there. If you're not familiar with Robinhood Gold, Robinhood Gold is basically a subscription service that gives you additional features that the free version of Robinhood does not allow you to have. And so a few of those things are that you get additional research that you wouldn't get within the free version of Robinhood. You can get bigger instant deposits. And so let's say if you wanted to deposit a large amount of money and you wanted to immediately invest that money into a different stock or into a, a options trade, 
if you had Robinhood Gold, you would have a larger limit. I believe the default limit for everyone is $1,000 within a certain time period. And so you could have it larger than $1,000 if you pay for Robinhood Gold. And you also get access to margin, which is basically the ability to borrow money that you can then invest into the market. And so while I don't personally recommend people invest on margin, that would be an option for you if you're a more sophisticated investor and you're comfortable with the risk involved with investing with margin. So like I said, professional research, bigger instant deposits, access to margin, and then also access to level two market data. And so this will be real-time information about the different ask and the bids for any stock that you may be following. And so this will be very helpful, especially if you're a day trader or you're a swing trader, you want the most accurate information or the most up-to-date information that you can get. And you do have to pay for that service and it is $5 per month. All right, going back, I already mentioned the referral program, so I won't go into that again. Uh, next is Robinhood Snacks. This is basically news in your inbox that they email to you daily. It gives you different information about recent big news that's going on with any companies that are publicly traded and maybe even private companies as well, or any interesting news that would relate to the stock market. And then you can also see the the most popular stocks list, which I showed on the homepage as well. And so as you scroll down, if you have any invites that you've sent out, you can claim your free stock here. You can also see any past invites that are actually waiting to receive their reward. And so if you wanted to remind someone to connect their bank account, you can also send a reminder. So anyone that you have already invited, they can connect their bank account and then both you and that person will receive a free share of stock. And you can also see the past claim shares that you received from people that you've invited. Now we're going to go back once again. And right now they actually have a promotion for their referral. If you were to refer three friends and they were to connect their bank account before January 31st, you would get a fourth stock for free for inviting three people. All right, so let's go back to the previous page. We're going to scroll down again and we're going to click on the investing section. In the investing section, you can see the full portfolio value within your account and view your account number. Right now, I have just over $1,000 in my account. This includes any stocks that I'm holding, options trades that I have that are open, and any cash held in my account at this moment. Since it is after the market has already closed, also past the extended market, which ranges from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern, you can see that the portfolio is not changing. If this was during the day while the market was open, then you would see those numbers change as the value of the different holdings I have change. And then you can see your deposit health and you can see how much you have access to as far as instant deposits. Again, I am using the free version of Robinhood, not Robinhood Gold. If you had Robinhood Gold and you could have a higher instant deposit than, than $1,000. So as we scroll down, you can also see any recurring investments that you have. And so if you wanted to set up where either every day or every week, bi-weekly or monthly, or even quarterly. If you wanted to invest in the same stock on a regular basis, you can set up recurring investments and you would be able to view which stocks have recurring investments in this section. And so next I mentioned DRIP already, that's the dividend reinvestment plan. If you had any stocks that were set up for DRIP, then you would see those stocks here. And then for options trading, you can see what level you are currently at. Depending on what level you're at, that will determine what types of options trades that you can actually submit. You can click learn more to find out here. I'm not going to go into options trading in this video, but I may create a follow-up video to this to talk specifically about options trading within Robinhood. And if you're a day trader or if you have made any day trades, you can check how many trades you have made in this section. And so if you have less than $25,000 in your account, you cannot be an official day trader or at least there's a limit to the amount of day trades that you can make. You can make three day trades within a five business day period. But if you make more than that, then they would lock your account for a certain amount of days before you're allowed to day trade again. But if you have more than $25,000 in your account, they will allow you unlimited day trades. And so you can trade as much as you want throughout the day. And because it's Robinhood, it is also free. And now let's actually scroll back up to where it says recurring investments and click on view recurring investments. If you wanted to actually create a recurring investment, 
you can click here and click create recurring investment in this section you could choose one of the stocks that you already own or you could search for a new company if you wanted to start a recurring investment with a new company and so in the search bar you can either type in the full name of the company let's use apple as an example of something that i don't currently hold in Robinhood. And you can type in their name or you can type in their tick, ticker symbol, which is AAPL. And so you'll see directly below the name Apple, you can see the ticker symbol. So even if I typed in Tesla, you would see that it's TSLA or Disney, you see that it's DIS. But we're going to use Apple in this example. So you type in Apple and then you select that option. And then from here, you can set your investment schedule. You can click on the date at the top. This will allow you to choose when you would like to start this investment. You can choose daily, weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly. If you choose daily, of course, it will buy every day that the market is open, Monday through Friday, excluding any holidays. If you choose weekly, then whatever day you're looking at, it's going to show that day specifically. But again, if you click on a date at the top and you wanted it to start on a different date, then you could scroll and let's say you wanted to start on the 31st. Since the 31st is a weekend, it would then skip to Monday, February 1st, and then you could have it start on Monday. But if you wanted it to start on a different day of the week, you can do so. But if you're doing daily, of course, it's going to do every day. If you want to do weekly and you have a specific day, maybe you get paid on Fridays, then you could choose Friday instead. And then every Friday, it would buy stock of the of Apple, which is the example we're using, or whatever stock that you choose. Now, you can also do bi-weekly, so every other Friday. So if you get paid bi-weekly, this would be perfect. Or you can do it monthly. And then, of course, with monthly, you can still choose which day of the month you would like to do it. And so let's say if I wanted to invest on the first of the month every month, I would then just go to February 1st and then select... Monday. And so now on the first of the month of every month, I would have a reoccurring investment set up. All right. So let's assume that I wanted to do the first of every month. We're now going to click on monthly at the bottom. And then below that, you'll get details about when the orders will be processed with every option, including the biweekly, weekly, daily, or monthly. The order will be processed between 12 p.m. and market close which on most regular days, non-holidays, that will be 4 p.m. Eastern. Because it is a range of time, it's a four-hour period where the actual processing could occur. This means that you actually have no control as far as the price that you'll pay for any individual stock. But if you're a long-term investor and you're just looking to invest on a regular schedule, you're looking to dollar cost average, you don't necessarily care what the price is when you specifically buy it because you're buying every day or you're buying every week or you're buying every month, you just want to make sure that that regular schedule is kept. And so now that I've chosen monthly, I'm going to click on continue. And then from here, I can choose the account that I want to link to this recurring investment. I can either choose an external account that I have linked to Robinhood, or I can choose to use my Robinhood buying power. So the Robinhood buying power, that represents any cash that is sitting in your actual Robinhood account, in the cash management account that we just talked about earlier. And so you would want to make sure that if you do choose Robinhood buying power, that you always have enough cash in order to cover whatever the recurring investment schedule that you choose. If you don't have enough cash, either in your Robinhood buying power, or if you choose an external account and you still don't have enough cash, then your recurring scheduled purchases will stop. And then you would have to restart that recurring purchase once you actually have money in your account, and then it will continue from there. So just make sure whatever account you link to it, whether it's your external account or your Robinhood account, that you have enough money to cover the schedule that you set up. So I'm going to choose Robinhood buying power for now. This is just an example. Click continue. And now I can actually choose any dollar amount that I want. So you can actually choose as little as $1, and that's whether it's per month, per week, or per day. And every month or whatever schedule that you choose, you can buy $1 of any stock or any ETF that is available within the Robinhood app. And so this is the great thing about Robinhood, as well as many other platforms that allow fractional share purchases. This allows you to buy it, essentially any stock available on a platform, no matter how much that stock costs per share. 
So even though Apple is over $140 at the moment, you don't have to actually invest $140 and buy a full share. You can just choose to invest a dollar. And then once you click on a review, it will give you an order summary to let you know that you're placing a recurring order to buy $1 of Apple on the first of every month. And the first investment will begin on February 1st at 12 p.m. And so if that's what you wanted to set up and you didn't need to make any new changes, then you could just swipe up to complete. I'm not going to swipe it because I don't want to do this at the moment, but that's all you'll need to do. So we're going to click edit in order to go back and then we're going to cancel this. And now we're back to the main profile page. And so we were in the investing settings. Now we're going to go to transfers. And in the transfer section, this is where you can choose to either transfer to Robinhood. So any external bank account that you link to Robinhood, you can use it to transfer money into Robinhood. Next, you have the transfer to your bank. So any cash that you have sitting in Robinhood, you can now transfer that money to your external account. If you wanted to set up direct deposit so that when you get paid, that money automatically went into Robinhood, you can click on set up direct deposit. You can also schedule automatic deposits. And so if you wanted to just send cash to your account, whether it's a dollar or a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, you can do so. So if I click on set up automatic deposit, then this will give an option to either choose one, which Obviously, that wouldn't be an automatic deposit. That would be one transfer, but you can also do a weekly, twice a month, monthly or quarterly. Now, unlike the actual reoccurring investments with this, you are only transferring cash to your account. And with the reoccurring investments, you didn't actually have the option for quarterly, but you also don't have the option for daily when you're just transferring cash. So if you only want to transfer cash, you have weekly, twice a month, monthly or quarterly. And so if I wanted to do twice a month, I can click on set schedule and then I can enter the amount that I want to do twice a month. I click on review and then it'll show you at the bottom. This deposit will be initiated on the 1st and the 15th. And so you don't get the opportunity to choose the specific day that you want to actually do the transfer if you're just transferring cash. But if you're doing a reincurring investment directly into a specific stock, then you can choose the exact day that you want that reoccurring investment to start. Now I'm going to click on edit and go back. And next, we're going to look at pay by check. And this is actually really cool, although it's probably something that I'll never use. But if you wanted to actually pay someone and you wanted to pay using a check, you don't actually have to have or hold any checks yourself. With any cash that you have in your account, you can actually choose to send a check directly from Robinhood. So you can choose either a business or an individual person that you want to pay. And then you can click on send check and then you can in enter all of the information that you need to pay a person by check if that's what you choose if you want to use the old school way so this is kind of a hybrid of the old school way of paying people paying by check but you can actually do it digitally you don't actually need to have or hold any physical checks they will send the check directly to the person or the business that you would like to pay by check so now we're going to go back and as we continue to scroll down you can look at paying your bills or setting up direct deposit so you can see your account information in order to do that. Again, you can lock your withdrawals. That's so people can't access your debit card if, you were, if it was lost or stolen. You can see how much cash is withdrawable. Even though my account showed $50 as available, available for trading, that was actually part of money that I transferred today. And so since it is not actually technically in my account, even though I can use it to trade, it is not eligible for withdrawal because it usually takes two to three business days before anything is actually eligible for withdrawal back to your external bank account. And then you can see your linked accounts here. You can also see any recent transfers below. And then that is it for this session. So we're going to go back. Next is the statements and history. In the statements and history section, you can see any transfers. You can see any purchases of stocks or options that you've made. And you can also scroll down and see any documents. So your monthly account statements or any tax documents that you may have, they will be listed here. This is the account statements. Go back and now we're going to click on tax documents. And so your end of the year tax documents, those will be listed here as well. As you can see, I've been trading on Robinhood 
since 2015 and my first document was received in 2016. All right, so we're going to go back to the previous page, go back once more, and now we're on the settings option. And in the settings, you can view your account information. You can see your actual account number for Robinhood. You can update your password. You can update your investment profile, which is your personal information, so I'm not going to go in there. You can see your contact information, which you should already know. But you can also see if you use Robinhood Gold. You can see if you're eligible to receive a free trial, you'll be able to. If you want to sign up for Robinhood Gold, you'll be able to do that as well. Uh, you can see your cash management account information, so you can lock your card. You can set up location protection so that based on where your phone is located that's using Robinhood compared to where your actual debit card transaction may be happening, you can protect it and stop any fraudulent purchases from happening based on your location if you choose to. You can also change your PIN number from here. Now we're going to go back. Next, you can look at any notifications or messages. You can set up how you want to receive push notifications on your phone or how you would like or what types of messages you would like to receive via email or any other messages that you received or anything that you've already muted if you want to update any messages or the notification settings. Now we're going to go back, scroll down. If you click on the security section, you can see all the devices where you are signed into Robinhood. So if you have multiple phones or if you have a tablet or if you sign in from a computer, you can see all of the devices that have signed into your Robinhood account. And so if you wanted to remove a device from having access, you can remove it from there. If you have any suspicion of something fraudulent going on, this is where you can also check to see if there are devices, unexpected devices that have signed into your account. You can also set up device security. So if you wanted to set up a pin so that as soon as you open the Robinhood app, you're required to enter a pin, you can do that. And you can change the amount of time required for you to enter a pin. So I have it set to immediately, but you can change it to one minute up to four hours. And so that means if you haven't used your phone or if you closed out and go to a different app, this is the time period that you would have before you're required to enter your pin again once you open the app. And so I have it set to immediately. So if I leave the app or if I leave my phone somewhere by accident or on purpose, whatever the case may be, I will need to enter my pin in order to see my account information again. So that's a good security thing that you may want to set up. All right, so now we're going to go back. If you would like to set up two-factor authentication, this is where you can set up an app like Google Authenticator, or you can set up SMS as your two-factor authentication, or have it send a password to your email. Whatever option you choose, this is just an additional layer of security. So that way, if someone new tried to sign in to a device that is unexpected, you would get some type of notification to let you know or require them to get a notification with a password in order for you to actually sign into the account. And then preferences, if you wanna change the app appearance. And so like I have for the theme, I have it set up to where during market hours versus when it's outside of the market, there's a light versus a dark theme. So when the market is open, Robinhood is brighter, it has more of white background. And when the market is closed, it has the dark theme, has a darker background to let you know that the market is actually closed. But you can also have it match your iOS system. So if you have dark theme for your phone in general, you can have Robinhood also always show dark theme. Or even if you don't have it for your whole phone, you can choose the dark theme if you want to always show the dark theme in the Robinhood app. Next, you can look at data usage or control data usage. So if you don't want to use Robinhood or have it download information when you're only on mobile. Then you can switch it to on Wi-Fi connection only. But if you happen to have unlimited data or you don't use a lot of data in other apps, then you can have it on for both, whatever works best for your mobile plan. Now we're gonna go back. And now we're at the end of the account section. So we're gonna go back again. And last but not least is the help section. And so if you had any questions, you needed to contact Robinhood for any technical support, or if you just had any general questions, you can do that from here. You can also look at any disclosures and privacy statements coming from Robinhood. All right, now that we're done with the account section, we're gonna go back to the icon that I skipped over, which is the magnifying glass, also known as the browse or search section. So in the browse section at the top of the page is the search bar, which we'll come back to later. Uh, below this is a list of popular lists. And so if you wanted to see what other people are looking at, if you want to look at the 100 most popular, which I mentioned before, they have a crypto list, index, ETFs, pharmaceuticals, 
other ETFs, energy and water, whatever the case may be, there are lots of different lists that you can choose to follow. And so let's skip over to finance. And so if you wanted to add this list to your group of lists, you can click the plus sign at the top right, and then that would include it to list that you are following. And then you can also look at the list. You can see all the different financial companies that are being followed by this list. The first one, of course, is Berkshire Hathaway. That is the company owned by Warren Buffett. And then also other finance related companies are listed below this. And so this is a way that you can actually find companies that maybe you've never heard of, or maybe they just happen to be performing well in, on this specific day or week or month or whatever the case is. But also you can find other lists of things that maybe you wouldn't even think about. For instance, altcoins or crypto or cannabis, upcoming earnings. And so if you are a trader and you wanted to try to do an earnings play where you're basically doing a short-term trade because you think that there's a company that's going to have really good earnings. Or if you already own stock and you just wanted to know when the company that you own, when their stock is coming up for earnings, you can see that over the course of the next seven days, all of these companies are going to be re reporting their earnings. And these are a lot of big companies, a lot of important companies in the stock market like Apple, Microsoft, Tesla, Facebook, Visa, Johnson & Johnson, and so on and so forth. And so if you just wanted to know who was reporting earnings on any given week, this is a list that you could follow as well. So I'm going to actually add that to my list by clicking the plus sign. And now I am following the upcoming earnings list, which will be automatically updated each week. Now the next section below is any recent news. So news that has come out. So just two hours ago, Biden signed an executive order to say that the government will now be buying American cars and specifically American electric vehicles for the government's large fleet of vehicles. I have not actually seen this news or read the article yet, so I don't know the details of it, but these are the types of things that would come up within the Robinhood app for recent news. So this is a big thing going on in America. You might want to know if that is a company that you invest in that would be related, whether good or for bad reasons, to this executive order. You might want to know about that news. And so Robinhood provides you with some of the biggest news of the day and of the past week. And then below this news, there's the top movers. This will show you the stocks that have had the largest gains for this day. And so VYNE Therapeutics is up 48% today. Accelerate Diagnostics, also up 48%. And you can just scroll through and see which companies had the best days today. And so as you scroll further, you'll see more news. And you can check out all of this news if you want. This is the general news that they feel that most investors would be interested in or that affects the most users on the Robinhood app. And so now we're going to scroll back to the top. And we're actually going to go to the search bar and we're going to search for a company. And this time we're actually going to search for one of the most talked about stocks and uh, one of the largest gaining stocks of 2020, which is Tesla. And I'm going to type in the ticker symbol since I already know it, TSLA. And I'm going to click on Tesla. And now you can see the performance of Tesla for today, which today they were up 4%. After hours, they were up just 0.16%. That is after 4 p.m. Eastern when the market typically closes. Now, as far as after market and before market, the regular market hours are 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m., but the extended market hours are from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And so in that time period from 9 a.m. to 9.30 and 4 p.m. to 6 p.m., this is when a lot of companies will actually announce their earnings. And so, or if there's any other news in the market as well, this could affect the movements of any stock that actually trades during the after hour period or the before market hour period. And so you can view the one day performance of Tesla. You can view one week. They're up 5% over the past week. They're up 30% over the past month, 107% over the past three months, 712% over the past year, and 2,102% over the past five years. Now, the last option to the right of the five year chart is where you can actually change how your chart looks. So if you click on that little symbol that looks like a heartbeat, you can now change this to a line chart. So it's a continuous line versus before it was a bar chart and that bar chart represented a certain time period. And so if you place your finger in the middle of the chart, you can actually scroll around and you can go to a specific date. But as you can see, each bar on this chart represents about 28 days. 
when you're on the five-year chart. When you're on the one year, each bar represents one week, so seven days. When you're on the three month chart, each bar represents one day. When you're on the one month chart, it also represents one day. When you're on the weekly chart, each bar represents one hour. And when you're on the daily chart, each bar represents a 10 minute time frame. And so when you when you don't have the bar chart selected and you just have the continuous line, you have to scroll through to see the different time periods. And actually on the daily chart, you get a five minute time period instead. On the weekly chart, you get a 10 minute time period. On the monthly chart, you still get that one day time period, the same with three months. And so you can see that depending on how you would like to look at the chart, you can change it from the continuous line or to have bar charts. I actually prefer the bar chart. Uh, one reason is because I like to see that separate time period, but also at the bottom, you can see below the dotted line, there are some bars down there as well. And those bars represent volume of trades. And so the higher the bars that are below the dotted lines, that means the more transactions that were made on that specific time period. All right, so once you scroll down, you can look at specific stats of the company that you're looking at. And so you can see that the open price for the day on Tesla was $855. The high point of the stock for the day was $900. The low point of the stock today was $838. But then you look at the 52-week high, which means the past year, the highest the stock has been was $900, which was actually the high earlier today. But also the 52-week low, which is the lowest it's been in the past year, was just $70. So you can see that Tesla has had an amazing run over the past year. Actually, that $70 range was around March timeframe when pretty much every stock was going down the week of March 17th through March 24th, you see that the stock went all the way down to $70. And so this may be helpful information if you're trying to find a stock that has been performing well and you want to maybe continue that trend by investing in the stock as well. Or if you want to do the opposite and find a stock that hasn't been doing well and possibly catch it at a low point, essentially buying the dip, this is information that you might want to view to see where the stock is at the current moment compared to the 52 week week high or the 52 week low. And like I mentioned, the volume, those were the little bars below the dotted line. You can see the volume was 41 million shares were exchanged just today. The average volume on a regular day is about 42 million. The total market cap or the total value of Tesla is $840 billion based on the price of the stock today. And the PE ratio known as the price earnings ratio is $1,691.93 per share. And so this is extremely high, but this could also change because Tesla's earnings are actually coming up. And so that price earnings ratio is actually based on the previous quarter's earnings. And so this number will change once they announce their earnings later this week. And if Tesla paid a dividend, then you would see it here. Tesla does not pay a dividend. So that's why you just have a dashed line there. All right, as you continue to scroll, now you can see news that is specific to Tesla. So this is news that would either affect Tesla or people mentioning Tesla in their news article or maybe on CNBC, someone's talking about it. Things of that nature, if it relates to Tesla, then you will see the news listed here. As you continue to scroll down, now you can look at analyst ratings. Analysts are people who specifically either follow a specific stock or they follow a specific sector like electric vehicles or green technology or automobiles, whatever the case may be for that specific analyst. And they'll give their rating on whether they think that a stock is a buy, if it's a hold or if it's a sell. If they rate it as a buy, that means that today they feel like you can buy the stock and that you will have gains in the future if you were to buy it today. If someone says it's a hold, it means that they're okay with owning the stock, that, but they wouldn't buy any more at the current price. And anyone that says sell, they're saying that at the current price, they believe you should sell it because there probably isn't any near-term gains that you can get. You're better off selling and locking in any profits. Or you're better off selling and avoiding any significant losses that could come in the near future. And so you can actually get a detailed version of what a bull someone that thinks you should buy or someone that's a bear who thinks you should sell 
you can get more details about why they believe what they believe. And so below that, there's also research reports. If you were subscribed to Robinhood Gold, then that would unlock any research reports related to any stock that you are currently looking at. Since I don't currently use Robinhood Gold, I don't have access to these reports. All right, below this is the earnings, and you can see that there are green circles. With the brighter green circles, these are the actual earnings, so the earnings reported by the individual company that you're looking at. The darker green circles, these are what the analysts expected them to earn for that specific quarter. If the actual earnings are significantly higher than the expected earnings, then you can usually expect that there is a, a huge increase in the price of the stock after hours once they report their earnings. Or if it is the opposite and earnings are actually significantly lower than the expected earnings, then there could be a significant decrease in the price of the stock once they report their earnings after hours. And as you can see, the past four earnings, Tesla has beat their earnings. Two of those four, they significantly beat their earnings versus what was expected from analysts. And the Q4 earnings are coming up this week, which is the last week of January. And so you, if you click on preview earnings call, this will actually take you to the site where you can actually log in and listen to the earnings call once it is available. So you can listen to that or you can get access to that directly from the Robinhood app. As you scroll down, you can see any list that Tesla is included in. So Tesla is one of the 100 most popular stocks that people who use the Robinhood platform invest in. It is also included in the automotive, of course, because they make cars. It is included in the California list because their headquarters is based in California. And it is included in the upcoming earnings list because they have earnings occurring in this week. And you can also look at the section for people also own. So these are people who own Tesla within the Robinhood app. And you can correlate the other stocks that other people who own Tesla also earn within Robinhood. And you'll see familiar names like Apple, Amazon, Neo, which is also an electric vehicle company, Netflix, Microsoft, NVIDIA, Square, Facebook. So you'll see that people who own Tesla also own these companies. And below this, you can see more information about Tesla. And so if you weren't familiar with Tesla or if you weren't familiar with whatever the stock is that you're looking at, you can go to this about section and you can read and learn more about what the company specifically does. Sometimes you'll actually realize that Tesla is not just an electric vehicle company. They deal with energy generation, energy storage, self-driving capabilities. They have a lot of different areas that they invest in. Most of them do relate to the main thing that you know Tesla for, which is for their cars, but they don't necessarily deal only with their vehicles. They are in other areas of the market. And below this, you can see the CEO is Elon Musk. This is the most talked about person. There are a few other people who founded the company as well, like Jeffrey and Martin, but you don't really hear their names very much. Elon is the CEO. He is the face of the company. He is the person that you're going to hear about, whether good or bad, whether making a great product or smoking weed on YouTube. And so you can see that they were founded in 2003. They currently have over 48,000 employees at Tesla.